becomes it becomes a martial sport because you have adapted to the rules and regulations of that sport and with that limitation it can never be as effective as a real martial art because the, it has that limitation um, a true martial art has no limitations and so modern um, and traditional I see no distinction I simply just see martial arts what exactly do you consider a true martial artist a true martial artist is an integration of the body mind and spirit without the integration of all three aspects it ceases to be a true martial artist the person ceases to be a true martial artist so I see that you must be fit okay you must be fit you must have um, proficiency in technique you must have the understanding of technique like a deep understanding of the technique and that requires the development of the mental aspect and then the spiritual you must have a good spirit you must have a peaceful spirit a peaceful heart loving heart compassionate that is true martial artist without either of that then you're not a martial artist you can see somebody like you know a clearly good example is like Bruce Lee he's very fit very proficient in the techniques very scientific a lot of mental training a lot of researching he researched a lot of different things to develop the Tao Chi Kune Do so his mental was way up there he was like a scientist and then the third aspect the spiritual you know, he was a good person a peaceful person even though he was practicing techniques that are violent he was peaceful so all I could say is Bruce Lee is one of the greatest examples of a true martial artist okay and Jet Li is a great example of a true martial artist as well but you know um, his physical uh, you know his physical may not be as developed as Bruce Lee but he's still in good shape you know he's still um, a martial artist but then you have other people that are you know they might be proficient in the mental they might understand the techniques they might have a good heart they might be spiritual but if they're not in shape if they're unfit I wouldn't say they're a martial artist because you, I, I feel that that's a very important component as well I mean that's just what I, I say um, others will, will view it differently but you have someone like Jesus he's not considered a martial artist but he's a very spiritual um, wise sage and um, same thing with Buddha um, doesn't practice techniques but he's not a martial artist but he's a sage so I see that a martial artist is a combination of the sage the scientist and the athlete so you gotta combine all three and then you're a martial artist how has your views changed since the first time you've been exposed to the martial arts? It's changed dramatically. It's from uh, night to day, from negative to positive. See that at the beginning of the martial arts journey, um, it was more just a lack of understanding, but just following movements, just mimicking, just following my instructor's forms and not really grasping the deep understanding of the techniques but just following it was off you know the physical the the sport aspect of it you know I was good at because I was an athlete so I was already in shape and I just followed the techniques not understanding it but as I began to understand the techniques and to develop myself it led me to the higher realms of the martial arts so I, I transcended um, being limited to just being like a sport fighter or or a cage fighter or just a robot just following but I would actually um, go beyond and really it really brought me to Bruce Lee's writings Bruce Lee's writings you know I read all his books and it got me a deep understanding of the philosophy of the martial arts the spiritualness of the martial arts the way of living so it became of just, um, it, it, it started off as just practicing techniques into an entire different way of living. It is um, the art of life, living, and martial arts was no longer just 
um, practicing fighting techniques, it became a way of life. So it was a completely complete transformation. Um, and I see that everybody that practices martial arts needs to, to head towards that way. Otherwise, martial arts will um, can be very destructive for society, um, not uh, enhancing society. But it needs to lead towards a higher understanding of yourself and of life. Number nine, what is the highest level of training? The highest level is when you're in complete awareness at all times. When you're in complete meditation. It is the, the level of no mind. It is the Zen. It is being present. It's not easy. And really, it's um, it, it goes beyond the physical training. This is something where you're just in the moment, not thinking of the past or the future. There is no ego. This is the highest level. And in order to get to this level, you know, it may take many, many years. Or it could happen in the instant, uh, which is, um, which Zen is known for. But it is uh, an awareness that you have, a deep awareness. And that is the highest level. How will spiritual training benefit you? It will benefit you in all aspects of life. Spiritual training is providing a way for you, a better way. So, rather than just following the masses of people who are just heading towards whatever they're directed to, like if the media directs them towards um, unhealthiness, they will go towards unhealthiness. If the society says, you know, let's just um, flood all the restaurants with garbage food, and the mass of people just head towards that, people just just follow and follow. If everybody's drinking alcohol, then people just the mass of people just follow and follow. If they say, hey, you know, let's have everybody drive. The masses of people follow and follow. So rather than just following all the time, the spiritual training will get you a deep understanding of yourself. And then with that that understanding of yourself, you'll be able to eventually develop your own wisdom and find your own way. So Jesus, for example, would find his own way. Buddha found his way. And with that way, it goes beyond what the masses could ever educate you on. This is something that you cannot learn from school. This is something that where it comes from within. You can't learn it from the outside. It comes from within. So that spiritual training will enable you to connect with the, your your inside, your inner wisdom. And that will be your guide. And that will benefit you in all realms of your life. That um, really, it will guide you towards ultimate peace from within, happiness, bliss, joy, love. That's basically what we're here for. Everybody wants to to be happy, to be in bliss, to be joyful. And basically, what it boils down to is meditation, being aware. Be in the present moment. Forget the past. Don't think about the future. Just be here right now. It's meditation. Meditation is the spiritual. And that is the training that is needed.